Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back and uh, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to run through exactly how to use these templates. Now before we even get into the templates, can I suggest that you put all of your stuff in one place? So for instance, I've got a text file here and in here this has got my like button code, yeah, which I'm going to show you how to get. It's got my Aweber form script code. I've got this in JavaScript. You can use it in either uh, JavaScript or HTML. It's got some text that I want to use. Uh, it's got the link to my um, page, which actually does need to definitely have the HTTP there. Uh, it's got my video, my YouTube video, and I've also got an easy video player script here as well. Okay, so I've got that plus... When I go in and start to select my images, you'll see all my images are all in one place. Yeah, so they're all in one file so that as I go through my template, I can literally just grab the images that I want. So it really helps if you've got everything in in one place. It's going to make it a lot easier. And if you're using any URLs, if you've uploaded images to your server and you're using URLs, then just make sure those URLs are all here as well. So you can literally just come and grab them and, and input them in. OK. All right, well, let's just crack straight on. Uh, let's go with design two. You can click anywhere on here. You don't have to click on this button. Click anywhere on here um, for the design you want and just click, just click it. And it brings you up the interface essentially for this design, okay? So let's run through it. Up here, we've got our banner image. This is our header graphic. So we're going to click choose file and I've just got a header that I'm using here, which I'm going to upload. Now, if you... Um, if you're creating your graphic or you're using one of our graphics, because so, I've got graphics to give you as well, how exciting is that? I'll tell you all about that later. Um, do make sure your graphics are no um, wider than 510 pixels, okay? Uh, to ensure they fit nicely on the page, those graphics really need to be no more than 510 pixels wide, okay? Here is where you can add your like button code if you want to put a like button in the page. Do remember you've still got the automatic Facebook like button above, but you can now put a like button actually within your page, okay? Now to do that, we need to go over to the like button page and let me just show you where that is. Um, there's actually like a whole uh, plugins, social plugins page here, okay? And I'll put the link underneath this video and then you just simply click on the top one which is the like button. And that's gonna take you to where the like button is and it's very, very simple. You go down to this form here and you put in the URL that you want people to like, yeah, which I presume will be the URL of your page. So for, for now, what we'll use is, is free fan page templates. And then you can choose um, what kind of style you want. You can choose whether you want to show the faces or not. If you do choose to show the faces, and you, nobody really likes your page at the moment, then you're going to have a bit of a gap between the like button and what the next bit on your page, as I said in the last video, um, because the, the, there's an automatic pixel size of 80 pixels. If you choose to not show the faces, then this pixel size changes to 35. So it means that, you know, you get a less of a gap there. But I quite like the faces, so I'm going to leave the faces in for this one. OK, um, and then you can, you know, mess around with the, the settings here, but I'm not going to go through that now. All you do is you click get code and that gives you this iframe code here that we want. OK, so we simply copy that, go back to our page and we paste that in. Now, I had already done that. My code is already here, but for the sake of today's exercise, I wanted to show you how to do that. So um, that's what I've done. I'm going to leave the step one image as it is. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that in there. Here is where you can either click no if you don't want a step one image at all, or you can display your own image directly underneath your header. OK, here then, these are great, these boxes. These are very versatile, these boxes. So for now, I'm going to put in a header. OK, so let's just get a header straight in there. And then I'm going to sense that header and I'm going to make the size bigger. And I'm going to choose impact and you can change the color and in here is where I could add an image if I wanted to I can upload an image off my computer if I wanted to put an image there or I could add the URL of an image in here um, oops that's not showing for some reason but yeah normally you can add a URL of an image in there I can even link this image oh, I know why so look I can go in here and I can link that image there see and I can actually put um, the you know a URL address of somewhere else that I might want it to go. 
okay? If I go there, then that's going to bring it up. There you go, because I had it in the wrong place. So you can actually add the URL of an image if you've got an image on your server that you want to actually use in place of text, okay? Again, any images you put in, do make sure that the width is no more than 510 pixels, okay? Um, and then, again, you've got a second text box here, so you can do the same. You can either put in text or you can put in images. Um, you can put in links. You know, you can do whatever you want, okay? Then I'm going to leave step two in again. I'm going to leave this step two, get your free product in. And then here's where you can basically put another image. So this is your product image, or whether you want this to be an ebook or just an image with a picture of you telling people what you do or whatever it is you want there. And then here is where you'd put the link to your site, yeah, that, you, that if you want people to click on the image and go through to your site. Um, and do make sure you use HTTP. But on template two, remember you've got an opt-in form. So you may not want to put a link. It's entirely up to you whether you want to still make this clickable to go somewhere else or whether you want to just want that to be a basic image without any clickable link because you do have an opt-in form and you ideally want them to sign up. Yeah? Entirely up to you. Then again, we've got another two text boxes. So once again, uh, just to the same with the versatility at the top, you can put in images, you can put in links, um, you know, you can put in text, you can do basically whatever it is you want to do in those boxes. Okay. Um, and then here's where your opt-in code is going to go if you want to place some opt-in code in there. So for instance, I'm just going to put my JavaScript opt-in opt code in there. Okay, um, and as I said, you can put in HTML, and we have tested this with MailChimp as well, actually, and that works. So um, this really should work with any autoresponder that you've got. It's not just Aweber. I recommend Aweber. I love Aweber. I think it's the best, um, but it, this does work with any autoresponder that you may want to use. Okay, um, but I showed you in the last video, didn't I, how to get your Aweber um, code. Um, all right, and then this is your reveal bit. So this is the I want to hide content from my fans until they like the page. We're not going to use that on this particular one. I'll show you that one in a bit. This is important. You must copy this installation code, okay? This is your installation code, and you need to copy that because you're going to need that when you get to your page. And then here is where you can click preview. Um, and that just does take a couple of minutes just to upload while it kind of gathers all the information and puts everything all in the right places. Um, but basically, this is then going to show you a preview of what your page is going to look like. OK, now, when you go in, do notice that this here is slightly off. But I guarantee you that will be in the center when you actually go to your page. Uh, so here you can see I've got my likes and my um, my like button and all the people that like my page. Um, I've got my step one, my header. I just put a bit of text in the next one, my image and then my opt in form there. OK, now, if I decide that I don't like it, I can click edit and edit will take me straight back to the other page. But I will just tell you this. This is a little bug in browsers, browser world. If you're using Chrome and you click edit, so we'll go back now. If you're using Chrome and you click edit, you'll notice that any images that you've uploaded will have disappeared in here. OK. Only when using these, the images that you're um, connecting to on your local computer, yeah? So if you've chosen a file there, that would have disappeared. Any images that are in these boxes, they'll, they'll remain, yeah? But any images that you've, where you've gone to chosen the file. However, in Firefox, the images stay where they are. So it's just a little bug. Um, and the same in Internet Explorer, I think the images stay where they are. So it's just a little bug in Chrome, that one. So just be aware of that, okay? So we go back to preview um, to have a look at our page. Um, and you'll notice that just in case you forgot to um, copy your installation code, we've put it up here for you as well, okay? Just to make sure that you've definitely got that installation code because you are going to need it on the next page, okay? So if you're happy and you say, yeah, okay, oh, look, see, my image disappeared. So let's just go back. Let's edit. I missed that image uh, because I'm using Chrome. Like I said, if I was using Firefox, this wouldn't happen. So let me just put that image in there and then my product image down here. Um, I just used that one, didn't I? Okay, and then let's preview again. Okay, so then what we need to do after we've previewed it is we now need to go and install this on our Facebook page, okay? So when that shows up, when that comes up, fantastic, here we go. All my images are in, yeah, lovely. Now we're going to click install, okay? So we're now going to click install. So there's no copying and pasting or anything like that. Um, and this little box here is going to come up. 
this is saying um, add iframe so you want to go and choose a page um, choose the page that you want to upload your iframe page to so I'm going to choose this page this is test page and that's then going to bring up this little box saying add iframes yes please okay so add iframes um, and then that will take you through to your page all right um, and what you want to do is you go down to the left hand side where all of your tabs are and uh, I'm sure you probably won't have all of these tabs this, this is a bit of a, a tester page of mine so I've got lots of tabs but you're looking for this little icon down here this little blue icon here and then iframe okay and you want to click on that so it brings you through to your page and then that is going to give you this little box here which is where you need to put that installation code okay so you simply put that in there and then click continue and then it's going to tell you that your installation process is complete and you need to refresh your page to view it so we simply click on our refresh button and drum roll, da, da, da. here is our page. There's our header, there's our like, it's because I already like it, the free fan page template, so that's why it's showing that, otherwise it would have a little like button there. Um, but remember, if you went to this page and you hadn't liked it yet, that would show a like button there. Um, there's my header and my image and my sign up form and everything else, okay? Um, so that's basically how easy the installation is. It's just a one-click install. Um, now, if you want, if you decided you didn't like it, if you, even if you'd proved, previewed it in order to be up here and you thought, no, I don't want to do it, I want to reload the page, then what you need to do is you need to click here, which is a reset button, okay? So you would simply click here, okay? That would tell you that your page has now been reset, okay? And then you would close this, um, and then basically refresh the page and that's going to bring you back to this page requiring your installation code okay so you could then go back to free fan, to the free fan page templates yeah and you could basically start again uh, select your design put everything in and then you could go and put the installation code back into this page and press continue and it would load your new page all right, so that's template two. I've gone way over, so I'm actually going to stop this video now. And in the next video, I will show you how to use template three. Um, but if you want to go and have a play, then get going. The code is underneath this video, so if you just get going, anybody who wants to actually watch while I, you know, put a video and everything, then click over to the next video. All right, I'll speak to you soon.